are and welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you a what I bought my two year old or two year old present ideas. So as you guys know, I have a four year old and a two year old, or you may not know that, but I have a four year old and a two year old and they are both boys and I struggled quite a bit thinking about what I was gonna purchase Parker for his second birthday because he already had so many bits left over from Clayton. So much of the stuff was in really good condition and he had a lot of stuff at his nan and granddad's house and things like that. So I really struggled to think things that he didn't already have. And I did one of these videos last year and you will probably see in that video, there were so many good content ideas and I included lots of the bits that we had left over from Clayton as well that would suit a one year old. So I will leave that link below for you in case you have a one year old and you may be looking for some ideas as they span over probably a one to two year age range. However, I struggled and I feel like some of the things that I got for Parker are really, really good ideas and some of the things I've never kind of seen before and all things like that. So today I'm going to share with you what I bought him. So if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. And before I start, I just want to put a little disclaimer out there to say that this isn't me bragging or anything like that. I really don't make these videos for that purpose. I make them because you guys said that you wanted to know some of the ideas that I had and you asked me over on Instagram to share this video with you so that's why I'm creating it and I'll leave my handle on the screen if you want to go and follow me over on Instagram and I actually didn't spend a lot of money. So I was very tight this year and I made sure that I didn't go overboard which is what I normally do with Clayton because I just can't afford to. So all of the gifts have been very very well thought out and some of these gifts are from like his nans and granddads and his aunt and stuff like that. As well so they're not all just from me and Adam however the first item that I got Parker or I didn't actually get Parker it but one of the best presents that I think we got for Parker was this so Adam's mum asked me what I wanted and I mentioned about one item and she went off and got this little bad boy as well and this is probably one of Parker's most loved items and I'm sure all the mums out there know exactly who this little fella is it's Mr Baby Shark so this little guy does a multitude of things including dance and sing at the same time and obviously Baby Shark is part of the Pink Fong range so he also sings some other Pink Fong songs as well and he is really really cool I'll insert some clips so you can see what he does but he talks he laughs he reacts to them so I believe as far as I'm aware you can clap your hands I don't know you can't even see him let me see if I can balance him on my knee he might start dancing though baby shark and then you can tap his head so you can say baby shark you can clap you can also tap his head and he dances because he's got a little thing so he moves all the way around the table and um, so my mother-in-law got this for him and honestly he is obsessed with it it dances all the way around our table our tiles anywhere it sings it dances it does all sorts so parker is absolutely obsessed with this and as far as i'm aware it wasn't that expensive i think it was about 25 pounds or so but i'll leave everything linked below so you can go and find them but yeah this has definitely been a firm hit favorite of parker's Okay, so next up, and I've just popped it behind me, we got this. Now, this is an ice cream cart by Leapfrog, and it's so, so clever, and Parker and Clayton have both absolutely loved it. It's one of those ones where you learn on the go. So basically, it comes with, like, ice cream, so they love role play the boys, and they've both got a um, kitchen that they use, and they use it all the time. So it comes with like, these little ice cream cones. You can pop the ice cream on the top. It comes with, like, a magnetic scoop. And it also comes with like these cards. So you've got like the creativity card. There's ones that teach you about number counting and how many pumps you need to put on with the pump over here. And likewise, it also teaches you colors and things like that. And I love toys that are basically toys that involve them learning. So not only is this a great role play toy, but it's also teaching them colors and numbers and all things like that. Now I love this, again it wasn't too expensive as far as I'm aware, I think it was around £40 and I think this is a great toy for them, they love doing it, it's role play and they've had so much fun playing with it so I think this is a great toy, I've never seen this before until this year when I started looking for Parker and I think it's fab. So the next couple of items that I picked up were these and they are a lunchbox and a backpack for Parker. He is starting a new nursery where he requires a lunchbox and he's always had hand-me-down backpacks from Clayton so I thought it would be really nice if he had his own one. I got these off of Amazon. I couldn't find anywhere that stocked bubble guppy stuff. Hold on, let me show you this. 
I don't even know how well you can see it, but I actually got a giant life-size walker balloon for Parker for his birthday and nowhere seemed to stock it like none of the shops they did Paw Patrol and stuff like that but Parker is obsessed with bubble guppies and I remember at the same age Clayton was obsessed with bubble guppies so I got these off of Amazon and luckily they stocked them this is the bubble guppies backpack I absolutely love it he I don't think he knows the names of them but he knows the doggy and he's obsessed with the doggy and he also knows that this one's got blue hair but I just thought it was a really nice little thing for him to have his own little lunchbox and his own little backpack and again, the little matching lunchbox I think is really, really cute. And it's just a standard lunchbox. And they were really cheap. I think I must have paid, well, I don't know. I'll leave everything linked below. I can't remember, but they weren't very expensive at all. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up for him, and I am doing this after his birthday. So some of these have been opened. Some of them we haven't opened yet because I try not to break into everything straight away. But the next thing that we got for him was a doctor's set. And this was from Jojo Mama and Baby and we were kindly gifted this. And I thought I'd put this away for his birthday because I remember at the same age for Clayton's second birthday getting him a doctor's kit. However... I remember the doctor's kit that I got Clayton was a plastic one and I remember within a couple of months everything had snapped and broken so I was adamant this time round that I wanted to get Parker a wooden one and this is amazing and he has absolutely loved playing with it it comes in this little red bag here which Parker's favorite bit is this bit it's like a little magnetic clothes he's been obsessed with that and inside he has got all of these different items he seems to think that this little knee thing here is a hammer, um, but he's loved doing like role play again. And I think at this age, role play is so crucial for them. There's so many different items in here. I think there's 10 different items. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's a 10 piece set. So it's got like your scissors, your stethoscope and all stuff like that. And again, it's just more role play. And I think it's nice that it's not in one of those plastic containers because again, I remember Clayton had the plastic little carry bag thing and it broke so the fact this is fabric and wooden I know it's going to be a lot more durable and all of their wooden kitchen toys and stuff like that that they've got are still going strong now whereas all of the plastic stuff has broken and I've had to replace with the wooden stuff so I much prefer buying wooden toys where I can so again the boys have loved this Parker's loved giving me medicine and again Clayton's four and a half now and he's also really enjoyed playing with this so I think this is one of those things it does say from free plus but obviously I think this is one of them things that they can enjoy at all ages. Okay, so I'm going to mention two big items that we got for Parker now. One of them was actually from my parents and the other one me and Adam got and it was probably like the biggest item that we got and even then it was only £60. So me and Adam got Parker and Clayton a joint present and I know that really shouldn't be the way that it is. However, a couple of these presents are joint for the boys because we're doing up the garden this year and I wanted them to have a few items for outside and there was nothing else that I could really think of to just give Parker because Clayton and Parker generally play with everything together anyways so we actually got Parker a mud kitchen and I went to go and buy one from Aldi and then the day after it had gone out of stock and I was gutted and then the rest of them seemed around the £100 mark but I actually found one on the website studio.co.uk and it was £65 or £69 and it comes with a working tap as well and it's for them to go and basically play outside so now they've got their summer playhouse out in the garden and things like that instead of me putting their kitchen out there I'm going to pop that out there and we've also got some other items coming in the next few months that we want to put in their playhouse but the boys both love mud they're obsessed with it they love playing with dirt they love playing around getting dirty they're typical boys and I thought a mud kitchen would be perfect for Parker because I know he plays with them in nursery and stuff like that and I know Clayton's love playing with them and £69 is like the best price that I've seen it's like a proper full grown size kitchen with dials it's got little um like tin like what do you call it like metal tin cutlery saucepans and stuff that come with it and I think the working tap the boys are going to love because every boy and every child loves water and um, the only thing is is it didn't arrive in time I'm gutted I ordered it on a three to seven day delivery and they actually messaged me a couple of days after delivery saying it was going to be 28 days it's not a massive issue I guess because the weather's been awful so they wouldn't have been able to play outside of it anyways but it's just a bit annoying so if you are looking to order something from their website maybe keep an eye on it because I don't necessarily guarantee that it will come in time, but for price and for quality and stuff like that, 
from what I can see, I found the same one on eBay for like £99. So this was definitely a bargain that I picked up. And the next item was a bouncy castle. Now this was from my parents and again it was kind of a joint present for both of the boys. Obviously this isn't just going to be limited to Parker using it. Um, it was £79, so again an absolute bargain. It was knocked down from £189 down to £79. It was from my parents to Parker and the reason behind this was our garden is too small to have a trampoline. And I would love the boys to have a trampoline. They, well, Clayton's always loved going out in the garden and playing on a trampoline, and we had one in our old house. And we bought Parker a little mini trampoline at Easter time, as an Easter present, and Clayton got a watering table because that's what he wanted. But he doesn't really go on it too much. It's quite little, and he rocks it quite a bit. And when we went to a trampoline park recently, he was walking around the edges, and he was very dubious, and he didn't like going on it. So we picked up this bouncy castle, it blows up in seconds, and again, I'll insert some footage so you can see, it's so quick. It's a really, really nice size for just both the boys to play on. We've had it up in the living room multiple times because it's been awful weather outside, and I feel like my living room's kind of turned into a bit of a soft play, but it's really easy to get out and then pack away. And then obviously when it's sunny, they can have it out in the garden, and I'm really chuffed with it. It was a massive bargain again. It had so much money knocked off of it. It was from Sports Direct, and again, I'll leave the one that we got below, but I'm really, really happy with it. And I think this is gonna be a great present for both of them. And you can kind of have this and buy this at any point in the year. But I think it's gonna be so much better than having a trampoline that permanently stays up and something they can both use and enjoy. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up were some trainers. Now Parker really needed some new shoes. Bless his little heart, he has just had hand-me-down trainers his whole entire life. He's had no new trainers whatsoever. And I remember I always, always, always had these for Clayton. I think I picked Clayton up about three or four different pairs. And Clayton also needed some new trainers, so I picked him up some at the same time. But I'm kind of classing these as a birthday present for Parker. And they are Adidas superstars. Me, Clayton, and Parker now all have some, which I actually think is really cute. I might have to grab a picture in that sort of like matching and twinning. Um, but they're Adidas superstars, and they are probably one of my favourite trainer brands at this age for the boys. They're really, really lovely. They have these gorgeous stripes down them. But my favourite thing is that they're Velcro. So Clayton has just moved up to the next size now. He now has elastic laces that are put inside his because he's still a bit too young to put in laces himself. But I love that they're Velcro, they're leather as well, which means they're really easy to clean. And I just find these last so well with the boys. They're my go-to trainer. And like I said, we've had so many pairs over the years with Clayton that he's just gone through. And as he's grown, we've kind of swapped them out. And we always get ours from Shoe because Shoe do a five pound back when you hand in your old shoes that no longer fit. A lot of the time we kept Clayton's ones unless they were absolutely battered. We kept the ones that were in good condition, but they take them back and it's not just shoes from there that you take back either. They'll take back Primark shoes, they'll take back any type of shoes and you can get five pounds off your next purchase. So I definitely recommend those. These were a little bit cheaper in office. I think they were like 28 pounds because they were in a sale in office. They were 40 pounds, oh no, they were 38 pounds from, um, shoe which I know is quite expensive for a trainer I'm pretty sure they weren't that expensive when I used to buy them for Clayton so I was quite shocked when I went in there and saw they were 38 pounds however these are his nice trainers these are the ones that he'll wear with me and him and Clayton matching and stuff like that so I don't mind spending a little bit more otherwise normally I tend to go to places like Sports Direct or pick out a slightly cheaper trainer but these are stunning Okay, so next up, I picked up a book for Parker. We have tons of books in our house. So it's not something that I feel the need to get too many of. However, he loves bubble guppies. So I picked up this off of Amazon and it's got 30 lift flaps on it. So the ones that you can lift up and down and it's hide and go swim. And there's loads of different doors that he can open in here and find like all the different things. So I think it's gonna be a really nice book to read with him. We haven't looked at it just yet. The one thing that I will say is I thought the flaps might be a little bit sturdy because the book is a cardboard book. I was hoping, considering the age that it's aimed at, that it would be a little bit stronger. Um, however, I think I paid something like four pounds for it or something like that, so I can't really moan. And I know that he loves bubble guppies, so I'll enjoy it reading this too. Okay, so next up, I don't know about you, but both of my boys are obsessed with Toy Story. And I think because Clayton is that little bit older and he has Toy Story on, it's probably gotten Parker into it a little bit earlier than Clayton. However, the next one that I wanna show you are tons of Toy Story stuff that we have. The new film is coming out at the end of this month, at the end of June, and they've introduced loads of new characters and things like that. However, for my boys, 
the dog Slinky and Buzz Lightyear are the go-to characters. So we have a couple of Buzz Lightyear stuff. Now, the first thing we have is Buzz Lightyear here. This is Buzz and he comes with a difference because he is a walking Buzz. He walks, he talks, and he makes lots of noises and he's really little and diddy. So this is the perfect toy for Parker. He loves stuff that he can carry around and put in his hand and he is obsessed with anything that makes a noise or moves, which is why I think he loves Baby Shark so much. So these were kindly gifted to us from Mattel, which we are super grateful for, but I definitely would have picked this up myself. I think this is amazing. And with the new Toy Story film coming out, I know the boys are going to love it. Then we were also sent this. And oh my goodness, look at this. This is amazing. I think this is gonna be one of those things that the boys absolutely love. Like I said, they love role play. Clayton loves dressing up in his Buzz Lightyear stuff and stuff like that, because he has loads of the costumes. And this is a button activated Buzz Lightyear headpiece equipment. I don't actually know what they officially call it. Space Ranger armor is what they call it. Um, it's really, really easy to put on. It's got a jetpack that moves. It obviously makes lots of noises and you can officially become Buzz Lightyear with this. And I think this is so cool. I know Clayton will love it. I think Parker may need some help with it. Um, but I know that Clayton's going to love this. And again, this is something that Parker can use as well. So I think this is such a cool idea to let the children become their favorite characters. Clayton got a Batman mask for Christmas, and again, it's a voice changer thing, and he was obsessed with that. Then this is something else I know Parker cannot wait to open. It's called Slinky Dog, but I didn't want him getting everything out of the packaging straight away. But again, I absolutely love this. Parker's obsessed with dogs, and the whole entire part of Slinky's body moves, and it's like a little plastic type stretchy thing, which I know he's gonna love. And I believe that there are multiple characters that you can get in this range, in this kind of like life-size range. So I think there's Buzz, there's Bo Peep, there's Rex, there's Jesse. Um, I'm trying to think all their names. There's a couple of new ones out as well, which are in the new film, which is quite cool. So I'll probably end up getting these out later because I'm trying to stagger them. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you was this. Now, I definitely think that Parker will use this as well. It says from the ages three to eight. So again, it'll be something both the boys can use, but it's in the Imagine X range. And basically, it's a life-size Buzz Lightyear. Again, he doesn't have a face, but it's like all of his back pieces, and he shoots stuff, he fires stuff, so there's like, well, you can see, but up here, there's like some shooting bits, and he's basically a big robot. I know the boys are gonna love this. I think it might drive me a tad insane, but as with all presents, they will drive me insane, so I can't wait to get this out for the boys either, and I know with the new film coming out, they're gonna love it. So I'm coming down to my last few bits that I got for Parker now. So the next thing that I got was some stickle bricks. Now we never had these with Clayton and I don't know why. I just never got round to getting any of these. We had like the mega blocks and we had like a lot of toot toot stuff. And obviously Parker still plays with all of that now. So they're great ideas for your children if you're looking for other bits. But we've already got tons of those. So I got the stickle bricks and Parker has loved playing with these. So has Clayton, yet again, because very multifunctional. But they're just the plastic ones you build stuff with and I saw him funny enough at nursery today playing with these as well but you just they're like the plastic ones all connect together and they're really easy to do so you can't not do them which I think helps with children when they're really young so even younger than the age of two I think these would work for but obviously you would have to be careful of like small pieces but again I just picked these up off of Amazon it says from the ages of one and a half so perfect and then obviously as they get bigger they can start to construct stuff and so following on from that at Christmas time we got Clayton some Lego and in it came one of those like yellow boxes and obviously he just got into that age range where he started playing with Lego however we've never done the whole Duplo situation and Parker loves building and sorting and stuff like that so we actually picked him up a box of Duplo he's now got his very own box just like Clayton's but in green for his Duplo and I was so impressed with this. It wasn't very expensive. I think I paid around £25. And I was so impressed with how much stuff he got in here. And Clayton has actually loved playing with this himself. I think because Clayton is four, he needs stuff to push him. But at the same time, he likes to do things that are a little bit easier. So this, I think, has been really good for both of them. Again, and it comes with like loads of different blocks. And they're quite big blocks, which I think is why Clayton likes them. And he can follow the instructions to build them. And Parker loved the fact there was a car on the set that we got. And there was also a little doggy. And we made like a little moving car house. 
that was on one of the leaflets. I've lost it now because Clayton's been playing with it. Um, oh, it might be on the box actually. I'm not sure, but there was like a moving car and both the boys have loved playing with this and Parker loves it. So definitely recommend Duplo. It's never something that the stickle bricks, stickle bricks, yeah, stickle bricks and this Duplo were things that I never really got until I bought them for Parker because I'd kind of wanted more options and know the boys love building and sorting. And um, now I'm really glad that I picked them up. They're just one of those things that since I think buying Lego for Clayton, I appreciate now. And I only have a couple more items to share with you. Both my boys love Paw Patrol, especially Parker, because he is obsessed with doggies. So his auntie got him this little Paw Patrol car. It has Marshall, who can save the day. And they both like it because, especially Parker, because it's got these little doors. Ah, oh, it's got these little doors on it, but apparently someone has shoved a load of stickle bricks inside it. This is what I mean. My kids, they just do anything. Oh, gosh. So if we get those out. But yeah, they put stickle bricks inside it and then obviously you can pop Marshall in the back as well or he can go on top and you can drive around and Parker loves cars. We've got tons of cars and trains and stuff like that. So this was a really nice idea because it's something different to what we've got already. Then the next thing I wanted to show you are these pajamas. Again, they are from Jojo, Mama and Baby and I liked them because they did them in both the boys' sizes but they are stunning. It is a gorgeous set for summer or for like those cooler mums. I love everything that looks like Spanish-esque, so when I saw these, I fell in love. And at the moment, they've got an offer on, so you save five pounds when you buy any two pajamas. So it comes with these gorgeous little shorts like this, and then this gorgeous little shirt top. And I remember Clayton had one that then Parker wore that was very similar um, to this when they were little babies. So I think they're both gonna look adorable in their little matching pajamas. And then the very last item that I wanted to share with you, and again, I cannot wait to get this out. This will probably be more of a garden tour, but again, they can play with it indoors because it's role play, is this. It's a grill and serve barbecue. This is such a great idea. It's a Jojo Mama and Baby Own brand product, which I was really shocked by because generally a lot of the time, I know they like wholesale other items, but I was so impressed with this. So basically, it comes with its little own grill and then you can make kebabs with it. You've got forks, there's hot dogs, ketchup, mustard, salt and pepper. There's plates, there's so much stuff and it's just like having your own little mini barbecue for the kids and I know they are going to love using this. Both the boys love doing stuff like that. Like when Adam used to go outside, they used to love lawn mowing and they still play with their lawn mowers outside now, even though they've got fake grass. But yeah, I know this is gonna be a great hit again, role play. I always love to pick up role play toys, whether it's fancy dress costumes or kitchen stuff, like at the Christmas time, I bought the boys like a new toaster and things like that for their kitchen because this is stuff they love to do and you can pack it all away. So as far as I'm aware, it all packs away in itself. But again, I haven't opened this because I'm trying <laughs> to not let the boys open everything at once. And then she rips the box. Good job, Ellis. But I believe it all goes away together. So it's really easy to store, which will be perfect for the playhouse. So yeah, so everything fits into there like so, and it's all wrapped up, but how good is that? It all fits into there, so it's like self-contained. So when you're storing it and stuff like that, it's really easy to put everything away, which I think is a fab idea. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the items that I picked up for Parker. Like I said, these are definitely aged at his age range, but I feel as they get a little bit older, the older children can join in or they last that little bit longer from the baby baby toys because at this age it does become a lot of role play stuff and like sensory and stimulation. I would have picked up some puzzles but I have puzzles coming out of my ear roll <laughs> so if you're looking for more ideas then obviously puzzles are always fab, books are always fab, there's a lot of stuff like that but I just have so much of that stuff that I really don't need anymore. Like I said the Toot Toot VTech stuff is also really good, mega blocks and stuff like that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you found it somewhat helpful. If you have, I have lots more content coming up. I do a lot of content focused around cleaning. I do lifestyles. I do interiors, hauls. I've just featured a garden renovation, which I've done. So if you like that sort of content, then I would love for you to have a look, see what other videos I've got, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye, guys. Tell me.